Oh, hey everybody. Welcome to Courtside, I'm Scott Mitchell, and today we're gonna be playing with a beach ball. No, today we're gonna be learning how to hit top spin. So if you're ready to go to the court, follow me and let's hit the court. All right, I've got my son's beach ball, and this is gonna be work great for us with the top spin. So I want you to imagine that we're at the beach, and I want this ball to roll down the beach. If I hit on the back of the ball, it's just going to scoot down the sand. So if I send my hand from the bottom of the ball to the top of the ball, I get it to rotate forward. All I'm doing is bypassing or brushing the back of the ball. So drop your drinks and let's head back to the tennis court. All right, we're off the beach. We're over here at the tennis court now, and I'll wait for some of you to come back, but I'm not going to wait all day for you to get off the beach. Imagine the tennis ball like the beach ball. My racket's going to travel up the back of the ball. That's going to get the ball to rotate forward. If I hit it on the back of the ball and directly on the back of the ball, it's going to send it forward without any spin. But I want to send it and go up the back of the ball or bypass the ball, and that'll get it to rotate forward with top spin. So a quick drill for some of you that are learning how to hit top spin, and be patient as you learn how to hit top spin, some of you. Some of you pick it up awful quick. Some of you, it'll take a little bit of time, but remember, you're never gonna lose your old strokes, you're just adding new stuff to your game. So that's a good thing to look at. So, a quick drill is I drop the ball down and I'm gonna send my racket directly up the back of the ball. If I do that, I'm gonna get a lot of spin, but not a whole lot of power, but that's okay. So it looks like this, bounce the ball down and brush up. Drop the ball down and brush up. And try to go directly up the back of the ball to your same shoulder or your uh, dominant shoulder that you hit with. So in my case, it would be my right shoulder you'll see that you've imparted spin on the ball. Now, if I want to get a little bit more like a ground stroke motion, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to take the back of my right hand and I'm going to put it up to my left ear. And that's because I'm right-handed. If it's uh, left-handed, it's going to be the back of your right ear. So as I do this, I want to send the back of my hand and not the thumb or the, or the palm. If I do that, I'll probably get a little bit of back spin, maybe none, a lot of flat, but also straight up. So it would look like that. And I don't want that, so you swing up, with the back of the hand to the ear. So the drill would look like this. Bounce the ball down and swing up. You should see a lot of spin and you'll start to get the ball to go forward a little bit now as well. So take your time with this, but this is fun. Everybody asked me if they could add one thing to their game. If I could add one thing to your game, it would be to add spin. Because if you do that, you're gonna add so much more to your game. You can add power, you can add angles, and you probably want a lot more matches. That was the basics to topspin. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, down the road, topspin is going to allow you to hit with more control and more power. At first, like I said, it's going to be difficult for some of you to pick this up, but stick with it. You're going to see it makes a huge difference in your game. Thanks again for joining me on Courtside. I'm Scott Mitchell, and we'll see you next time.